Hello everyone, it's Cookie Lou in Arizona. I have been MIA for a while and um, there's been a lot of things going on. But after getting a message from my dear friend in California, Rosemary, who gave me uh, a licking on the fire <laughs> message about call me back and make a video. She's been missing me and I've been I've been keeping up with all you guys. I really have. I, I've been watching videos as much as I can, but I really didn't have that much to report. You know, I've my my uh, my weight reduction program has been at a standstill for just quite a few months now and uh, I'm just not moving anywhere as far as the numbers on the scale, but um, I have been doing a lot of things and uh, I'm, I'm honoring my dear friend Rosemary today by making the video and I will call you back. I got the message yesterday and I will call you. I will call you back. Uh, so, okay, what have I been doing? I've been going to therapy. I have uh, uh, decided that I, I wanted to build some some mu muscle strength in my body because um, I had a little bit of a fall here some months back and, and I have it's almost impossible for me to really get up off the floor between my knees my artificial joint my arthritic knee still being you know a heavy weight way, way overweight um, and not having enough muscle uh, to get myself up. And I'm not supposed to kneel on my knees because the artificial uh, knee joint, you're not supposed to kneel on it. So anyway, whatever. Um, because of the fact that I'm on Coumadin now, my doctor felt that she wanted me to get some, uh, I had requested it, she agreed, that I go to ther therapy and get some uh, help with my gait and balance and to kind of build up the muscles. And for the last... Um, um, so I went three times a week for the last month, and um, now we're working on some uh, shoulder problems that I'm having. I'm having a lot of pain in my right shoulder and collarbone and this neck area here. And apparently, I've—it's a possibility. I haven't had a test on that yet to find out why it's been hurting for months on end. But I think it's some of the exercises that I've been doing to try to build up strength in my arms. I don't think it's, well, I know now that it was incorrect what I was doing. And the, the therapist feels some torn muscle tissue in this area. So I started therapy with, with this yesterday. And um, so I've been doing that. I've been going to therapy for the last couple of uh, months, month, about, about, about a month now. And I've been going three days a week, and now I'm starting another four-week series for the upper body strength. And... Uh, muscle pain that I've been having. So that's what I've been doing. And uh, I did a little shopping because I am trying, oh by the way these are my new glasses. Last time I had a new pair of glasses that were not made well and I didn't like the way they looked on me. So this is the final pair which is a little similar to the, uh, to the glasses I had before. By the way I never did find that lens that fell out of my old glasses. It fell out of it fell out of the out of the frame and popped on the on the desk and flew somewhere in the floor and I never found it. It's I'm telling you, it's been confiscated by the angels or something because I never found the damn lens. But anyway, uh, I've been shopping. I did a little shopping. I went to Macy's a couple of weeks back because they had a major crazy sale and I wanted to get some shoes. Um, uh, I'm not the type of woman that shops periodically. I maybe shop once or twice a year and buy everything that I can or that I can afford that I've run out of. And my shoes were pretty much done and I needed to get some new shoes. And because of my um, my feet and my knees and back, I have to, I can't really pinch pennies when it comes to shoes. I take a size 10 kind of wide and I can't find that size very often. And it takes a lot for me to hunt down the right pairs of shoes in a 10 medium that fit comfortably and have the, um, the sole that I require for walking with the uh, arthritic knees and my back problem. 
So um, when there's a sale, I jump on that wagon and I, I see if I can find something. And, and I did find some really nice shoes at Macy's. And I also found a top. They were having a crazy sale, 30% off on the shoes. And uh, anywhere from 40, 60 to 70% off on some tops and clothing in the, you know, in the women's department. So I went uh, and first to the women's department, which was adjacent to the shoe department. And I got this nice top for my trip to Vegas. It's navy blue and white. And uh, I really, really like it. It looks good. It's very comfortable. I got a pair of... Um, uh, navy blue pants to go with this top and um, it's a nice little outfit. I love the color, the combination of navy blue and uh, white and uh, I thought this would make a, a nice little outfit for Vegas so I did get this. It has a little sparkle in here. I don't know if you can see it but it has some sparkle in the in the print and I do love it and it looks really good on me and this here is a size 1x from a 3X, I'm down to a 1X, which is good. I wish I was down to an extra, well, some extra larges I can fit into as well. But uh, I still have a long way to go on my weight reduction program. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's doing what it's doing, you know, and I, I've, I've, been, I've been really good. Matter of fact, I even went to Walmart in Surprise, Arizona, which isn't too far. And I purchased a, a food scale so that I could measure my food more properly. And this is the scale that I got at Walmart. It was um, uh, $19.95, I think. And it's a nice little scale for the money that I paid. And uh, this is the actual scale itself, what it looks like. And um, it's simple. I don't like things with a lot of bells and whistles and buttons. and. I just want to know what it weighs. So if you press the button here, this uh, on button, and you put a dish on here, it'll weigh the dish. And then it'll go back to zero, and uh, you, you put the food in, and it just weighs the food that's in the dish. So you get a fairly accurate measurement of how much food you're putting in your dish. Because uh, uh, I wasn't doing I was journaling everything I was eating, but my scale that I had was just a little old-fashioned uh, scale with a needle you know that goes up and down at two ounces one ounces ten ounces whatever but this is a little bit more accurate so I did invest in a scale and it was a good deal for $20 I really really like it so that's a tip if you're looking for a good scale this is a good one I found it at Walmart you don't always find the same items in various Walmart stores but it's called Mainstays, M-A-I-N-S-T-A-Y-S, Digital Kitchen Scale, and um, I, I really do like it. So if you're interested in getting this, this scale, scale, that's the one I got, and I think you'll be very happy with it. So this is the scale that I bought, and I bought the top, and I got a pair of baby blue pants to match that, and I got my shoes, and these are the shoes that I got. This I got for comfort. It's ugly. It's an ugly shoe. But I got it for comfort. It's a Clark shoe, and I need it for the way I walk, and it's got that nice thick sole, and uh, it's similar to another pair of shoes that I have, I have that are really, they're beat. They, go, they have to go in the garbage. This is like walking on clouds. It was not cheap, but I did get 30% off on I think they were $75. I got 30% off on that. But uh, like I said, when it comes to my shoes, I need what I need. And I got a pair of plain black loafers. Again, it has the, the sole that I need on it, and it's a very comfortable shoe. Um, and I, I tend to wear a lot of sandals out here, but there are times when you need a closed shoe, and I got this one. It, it was comfortable. So this is just plain black shoe, but I really enjoyed it. And this was, I think, $39, something like that. And, the, and it's good It's good leather, leather tops. You know, it's not vinyl. It's a good soft exterior um, uh, leather rather than the plastic that can pinch. I got that, and I got a pair of fancy sandals, 
which is really nice. I, I wore these and, and they're very pretty. They're kind of brown and gold. This is the shoe I got um, also for Vegas if I needed to jazz up. It does not have the best sole. It's a little bit on the hard, slippery side, but it works for a little dress shoe. And I do like this. It looks nice on. So I got this sandal. And I got something that I would consider a, a non-scale victory. Because I haven't been having any victories on the scale lately. So, But this is something that I don't know why I reluctantly tried them on. And I went, my gosh, it works. This is working for me. I can actually comfortably wear this shoe. And I wouldn't even try it on. Because normally when I see a a heel of this sort. I don't try it on much. But I needed a pair of blue shoes to match my blue outfit. So I got this shoe here. Let me take this out. I got this shoe. And I love it. And the, what the non-scale victory is, is this heel here. See that skinny heel? How it tapers down like that? How it's kind of higher than I normally wear? Um, kind of almost like a high heel, but in a comfortable suede type shoe. This actually is comfortable. I can walk on it in spite of my knee issues. And I was very, very pleased. Not a cheap shoe. It was $79. 30% off of that. Do the math. Um, I got one, two, three, one, two, three, four pairs of shoes. And I think the total bill with tax and everything was about 148 or 50 some odd dollars, which isn't bad for four pairs of shoes because they are not cheap shoes. And you know, like I said, when it comes to my situation, I can't be cheap with my shoes because I need to be comfortable when I walk or I don't walk, plain and simple. So anyway, this was, um, it was fun going out and, and doing some shopping and buying some things that I needed. And I have a, a food tip that I'd like to share with you also today. I'm going to do real quick because I'm already 12 minutes down. I found some smoked uncured bacon with no nitrates or nitrates added. And this is what it is. It's Oscar Mayer's Select No Nitrate Bacon. And I, I bought it in, where did I get this? I think it was, I probably was at Walmart when I went to get the scale. And this is the bacon. I normally don't buy bacon. I rarely buy bacon because of the nitrates and the artificial crap that's in it. But as you can see, it's a fairly lean selection of bacon. And I thought I would like to try it because it has no nitrates in it. And, um... I highly recommend it if you're a bacon person and you know it's not turkey bacon it's pork bacon and I cooked some up today and this is what it looked like cooked and it was really good and it tastes just like bacon it is bacon but it doesn't have a lot of the a lot of the nitrates in it and um, this is the bacon I cooked it at 350 for about 12 minutes and it was really good. It tastes, it's not as salty. I mean, you, it tastes like bacon. It has a hint of salt in it. But it definitely has a difference. And, and you can tell. It's a cleaner meat. So if anybody is interested in trying this, um, I, I got it at Walmart. I'm pretty sure Oscar Mayer Select smoked uncured bacon. No nitrates or nitrates added. And it says here ingredients is pork, water, salt, it does have um, sugar, cultured celery juice, sodium phosphates, cherry powder, and it does have an ingredient to preserve the quality. So, I mean, it's not 100% clean, but it's better than the regular bacon. So I suggest you try it if you, if you like bacon because it's good. Okay, that's about it. That's what I've been doing. Sorry I've been missing in action and uh, that I was so missed by my dear friend Rosemary and uh, I have been trying to uh, to keep up with watching some videos and I comment whenever I can because I really have been out a lot 
you know, with the therapy. I've been doing quite a bit of, of work with that, and, and I do feel some improvements. Plus, I've been, you know, it's a time of year when I'm scheduled for all those wonderful uh, annual uh, tests. I'm getting my bone density test done. I had the, um, the good old faithful mammogram. <laughs> Friday and from that I went straight to therapy and I was doing my shoulder exercises and my therapist is uh, really very good and he did a lot of manipulation on my shoulder and massaged it and put ointment on it and taped it up even taped it for to keep the tape on for a couple of days which I did take off and that massage was killing me it really was because he told me there's a lot of knots in there and he says the muscle tissue is, is knotty and it's fibrous and need to break it up and get those muscles stretched. So I'm doing a lot of stretching exercises and balance exercises. And um, that's kind of what I've been doing. So glad I was missed. Thank you, Rosemary, for giving me the little boot in my booty that I needed to be on the air today. So thank you all for watching my video. I hope some of my tips were helpful today. And um, I love you all. Hugs and kisses. God bless and take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.